Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So today we go and uh, try to get some power armor for this new playthrough. In case you missed it, last time we did die after our island start. Um, I'm not sure what's over here. I don't see any mines. Usually you get like a random event that spawns here. Either mines or survivors. <clears throat> Something that will try to kill you. not going to be super cautious through here, just going to try to get through this as fast as I can. Um, when I go a bit further south, I think. So I can avoid the ghouls as well. Intruder, identify yourself. I think we can just slip through over here. All clear. Yeah, we're good. Where we are going, by the way, is uh, right over here. I'm just trying to avoid all the survivors in this area that I can. And get over there. Get my power armor. Hopefully there's a full set in there. We'll, we'll see, though. I don't know. Could just be a frame. If it's just a frame, then uh, it is what it is, you know? We got the T-45. It's pretty banged up back on that corpse over there, or in that uh, container. But, you know, it'll serve. It'll be okay for now. Also, uh, just a quick heads up, and I guess kind of a... a, a Premeditated apology. Premeditated apology? Is that a thing? Can you premeditate an apology? Uh, a, uh, apology before I actually have to apologize for anything, um, that, uh, I am probably gonna be pretty light-handed on the edits on these videos, which means that you might get an occasional cough or voice clearing, uh, grunt or something, because I just don't have, um, enough time to be as thorough as I would like on all the videos. You also might hear some clicking whenever uh, I speak. That happens sometimes. Especially if it's first thing in the morning, it happens a lot more. All right, we're just gonna slip over here. And are we in luck? We're in luck, boys. Looks like uh, T45. It's a good old set of T45. All right, well, that's that's good news. I will still try to edit out the... Um, the sequences here because I know watching someone do this minigame is not very fun, especially in Frost where it can take me a couple of attempts before I get it. It was Snake, guys. It was Snake, because we are the silly little snake. I feel like that is a good omen for some reason. I really do. Alright, so yeah, full set of uh, T-45 in good shape. Sounds good to me. Um, since we're in power armor right away, I want to... Um, I want to get a melee weapon as, as well. Or do I have a, a machete? Didn't I... No, I think that was in my last playthrough where I got the serrated machete. I do have uh, the flamer, though, which will help out quite a bit. So I'm just going to, like, take out these survivors real quick. And get some free stuff. Excuse you. I was actually shooting through him. That's interesting. Almost out of ammo. I can't loot you? Here we go. Puncturing a sledgehammer. What's the best one here? 
That's 61. Yeah, I thought that'd be better. This is, uh, no, it's pretty heavy, too. Okay, yeah, I'll just use this then. No ammo for this. Pretty damn good damage, though. Let's find that. Find that. Come on, Tin Man. Fuck, I was too far away. You better not throw a freaking grenade at me. God damn it. God damn it. Do I have any... Oh, thank God. It didn't stop it. Fuck. Oh my God. You piece of shit with your stupid... I don't even know. A stupid bleeding piece of crap that goes right through power armor. <sighs> that was a good start that I almost just wasted because this asshole had a puncturing thing that went straight through my power armor. What a jerk. Okay, well, we gotta chill out for a bit now and uh, get some health back. Let the bandage do its work, you know? I think the bandage did stop it, I just think it didn't stop it until, like, the next... I don't know, like, the next tick of damage or whatever went through, something like that. See, I'm gonna chill a bit here and loot around here... ...and get some health back. I really don't feel like going anywhere and, uh, dying right away. Um, didn't get a level up. I was hoping that level up might save me there. So did I get, uh, Idiot Savant yet? Did I forget to get it? I bet I did. Yeah, I sure did. It's a real tough choice between that and, um... The Power Armor Fusion Core one, because... Both will be very, very useful for me early on, you know? Right, I'm just going to look through here for anything I want to loot. Check the boats and stuff. Never know. They have uh, first aid kits in them sometimes, and they can maybe have stim packs or just some whiskey is good, too. Texture fighting there on the uh, ice. The ice looks very good, though. I didn't look very thoroughly over on the barge here either. I'll check that as well. Okay, some 38 rounds, not bad. It's all useful, you know. Might be able to get in these containers, too. I'm not really sure. I've not, like, looked that well. There's also a vertebrate over here. Um, definitely can't carry all this stuff. I'm going to drop this stuff and then do a bit of uh, acrobatics over here. Because I can't remember what's up here. Um... Because there it... Can I go over here? Without going in? It's hard to tell. Oh, there's an ammo case over here. I missed... There's nothing in there, though. Right, so let me see if I can get up inside this vertebrate. Might need to go over here. Or maybe over here. I am curious if there's anything in here worth getting. There is a random uh, helmet in here. Uh, question is, can I get back out? It does look like the front. If I can't get back out, guys, then I will just, like, probably let myself get back out because it wouldn't make much sense that you couldn't get out of here. Like, you could pull yourself out. Water... And not much else. I 
Just a flight helmet, looks like. Nothing in here. Okay, well, it was worth going over here and checking it out. You can, you can get back out, I'm pretty sure. Come on. There we go. We got it. Is my badge still going? Yep, still going. Okay, nothing there. I just wanted to see. You never know. I might even uh, just go out, leg this for a while, run around since we killed all the survivors over here. I really don't want to go anywhere without getting a bit more health. Oh yeah, this is a cottage. Uh, is there anybody in here? If there's somebody in here, I'm just going to exit right away, but if there's nobody in here, I'll just loot it real quick. It'd be a good distraction. While I'm healing. Oh, there is a guy in here. I remember now. Yeah, there's a guy in here. Okay, we're going back out. Don't want to don't want to die to that guy. Just a random survivor in there. Never know. Might have a nice gun or something and just one shots me real quick, or I might just die because I'm I suck at melee. That could happen too. That ghoul is uh, okay. That one is. That one's still alive. Bandage is done. Need another one. What is up here? There were a lot of little buildings and stuff around that uh, could be loot in them. It's just I don't usually go through them. Oh, but look, there's like an entire thing up here that we can go through and check out. Oh, is this the, um, this the ladies... Uh, there was like a group of ladies that were in a apartment building. It's like really off the tracks and hard to find and I could never Maybe not No, this is not it. That's somewhere else Some bottles And that's about it, huh? Nothing else, eh? There's a cooking station here, which maybe I can make something. I don't think I have anything on me. Left most of my uncooked food and stuff. The little bit that I had, I left it back up at Bunker Hill, I think. Oh, wait. Berry mint hats. Very nice. I should use those more often. Especially in the beginning, whenever it's really dangerous. Already went over here. Okay, I think we're, we're good now. I've explored this area and I've gotten some health back. We can hop back in the power armor and be on our way. Just didn't want to do it immediately, you know? So everything we need to get rid of our explosive collar is over at uh, Bunker Hill, should be. I'm going to take, like, all this stuff with me, I think, for now. And then we can make it over at uh, the chem station right below BIDTFL. I didn't think I saw anything of value here. There's a tin can. I'm pretty sure I already have one of those, but just in case I don't, I'm going to take that. Need some adhesive as well. There are more survivors over here. There's also... Check what's up on top of here. Should've gotten that cottage too. Should've cleared it out. Just because I was there, you know. The gym is over here too. And there is a survivor in here that we can kill. Get some stuff from him. What is up here though?
I think it's just Who's an alternative. That sounded really close. Just an alternative way to get uh, over here. Jumping in shadows. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. You gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. I could Superman land and uh, do damage to these guys, probably. I think that's still a thing, and they would okay. maybe even Hunt die. Who is that? Yeah, let's do it. On. Good on again. Do it again. Stop her. Don't you die on the oh. Okay, puncturing bore, but did not do any damage to me. That's good. This guy I think I killed immediately. You don't want to go in here, by the way. Into the uh, the gallery. Not a good time early on. Gotta go through the sewers to get out of there. You won't have a very good time, just saying. Okay, it's getting dark. I need to be on my way. We're burning fusion core as well, so gotta get going here. All right, let's make our way back up to uh, Cambridge. Or Charleston, technically. Get our free booze here. Check for chems. Okay, some buff out. Which will give me an infection immediately if I try to use it, pretty sure. Oh yeah, can you get up here? Oh, you can, but you can't get in here. There is a way. I think that's where you come out at whenever you get done with the uh, Pikmin's Gallery over there. Must be ghouls around here because I'm getting rads. Or it's a uh, rad storm. Could be that too. That would not be great luck. Okay. Right on. Let's go up and clear out the rest of this place. I think my badge is worn off too. Clear out the rest of Bunker Hill. There's stuff I'll need. Drop that there. I haven't tried going down inside of Bunker Hill into the basement area where there's a whole bunch of Alliance people. It's just really dangerous to go there early on. So I haven't tried it. I mean, I could... You know, it's going to be a lot of good loot. And I guess, like, if you're going to do it, do it early, you know, so that you can start over if you don't, if you don't make it. Won't be as big of a deal. Keep moving. Now they're saying keep moving, so... You don't belong here. Get lost! I think there's only one left here. Oh, nice. We got some more ammo. That's good. There are sometimes two, but they might have uh, died. This is all my radiated stuff. I don't really want that, actually. Yeah, so there's, there's a basement. Um... Need a camera. Need some adhesive. Nice water filter. Gonna save after that, just uh, in case I crash. Second tin can. That's weird. Look at that. I guess that's like fog. It's kind of a weird effect there. That mannequin kind of scared me. Okay. That's all well and good. I 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we need. We can fill these two. I can't make any water though. Okay, here we go. So, um, right, there's the adhesive we need. Quite a lot of it actually. Circuitry is in that hot plate. Take that for the oil. Can't get that yet. Gotta drop something. Um, I don't have any ammo for this anyway, so... Same for that, no ammo for it, so I'm just gonna drop them for now. Are there if I want them later on. Have a lot of ammo for this. This is kind of crappy, though. Um, there's a better one that I left in that container outside, so... This one has some okay mods on it that I wouldn't mind having, but I really can't take them off right now. I have no way to do that, so... I'm gonna drop it off over here for now. Should I go downstairs? I do have a decent amount of ammo for the uh, submachine gun. And I have a decent submachine gun here too. Like this is not a bad one at all. Um, so I could go down. It's an option. I even have even more ammo for that, okay. Gonna leave that there for now. Drop everything off except for stuff I actually need. The tin cans. The wonder glue. The camera. And the hot plate. That should be everything. You know what? Screw it. Let's go down. Let's go see what's down here. Let's go see what's what down in the... Uh, the Alliance basement down here. There are, like I'm saying, like I said, guys, there are a lot of really heavily armed, very, very strong enemies down here. So they're gonna have very good loot. But there's nice. really a good chance of me dying. So you know, it's high risk, high reward, man. You're not immediately hostile, right? Okay. I don't have the uh, perk yet. Oh well, that's okay. I don't have the perk to actually get meat from him. Unfortunately. They're not, or at least most were not immediately hostile. There's one. He's gonna be hostile. Or he's going to be at least uh, when I have to fight. Citizen, volunteer. I don't care about the... Okay. Shotgun's fine. I don't care about that. Citizen, I don't care about. You know what? They're cowering. Okay, what am I gonna get uh, for my next perk point? Lockpicking would be good. No, Hunter. Hunter's my next perk, that's right. Need Hunter. They're all cowering, I think. Which means they're just citizens, they're not dangerous. I don't really care about these guys too much. Nice. Science bobblehead. More terminal hacking guesses, cool. 
Right, well, they didn't have any crazy weapons. Last time I went down here, they did. They had, like, a really nice laser rifle and stuff, and uh, I may have gotten a bit obliterated when I tried it, so... It was a very quick end to my start, so I didn't want to come down here again, but looks like uh, that's just kind of random. They're not always well geared, it's always just random what they have. Get out of here, you idiots. You damn commie bastards. A beanie, very nice. Got our charisma hat there. And this guy, nothing much on him. Okay, wasn't actually that much here. Surprisingly. Got some adhesive, though. That's not bad. Gonna check on the bottom level here real quick. There's no beds or anything down here either, which is disappointing. I was hoping I could maybe sleep. Oh, they have a mini nuke. Okay, well, that's good. And some 5.56 rounds, which I can't really use, but hey, you know, it's not bad. Alright, I think we're I think we're done. It's over. I think that's everything. <laughs> Convert or die, Metro Alliance scum. There's the uh, Metro Alliance flag, by the way. Okay, that's cool. Uh, no big deal. Came in, shot some people, took some guns. Not a bad uh, little run. Well, I think I killed three people, but they all had guns, so pretty good profit on uh, that. We got some nice stuff. It is, unfortunately, black rain, and my god, the fog, too. I really can't see a damn thing out here right now. It's pretty bad. So, um, I'm gonna get out of here. I literally, guys, this is like the worst ever. I literally cannot see anything. This is so bad. Um, so I don't want to go to Watts. I want to go to BADTFL. But I literally cannot see... Like, I know it's bad for you guys too, but it's like... It's that bad for me too. Trust me. Like, I literally cannot see... Three feet in front of my face. Think this is BADTFL. Okay, somebody's got a got a machine gun. I literally can't see a fucking thing, dude. This is actually crazy how bad the weather is right now. I don't want that. I want the bozo gas mask. What is... Why is this light following me? This is strange. a bug or something? Like, this is absolutely awful. I don't even feel bad for using bats, because this is ridiculous how little vision there is. I can't see! Ah! Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. Time to reel them in. I got all day! Even my Barry Mentats I can't really see. Had an impact grenade. Thank God I didn't throw that. We got in a large backpack, though. Gonna save after that. It's a nice find. I think that's everybody out here. My God, it's dark. 
I'm gonna get inside the DTFL, and I th I'm pretty sure I know where the... Yeah, it's right over here. Here's where the, um... The bench meet is at. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to make the, uh, removal thing. I am really in rough shape for water, aren't I? That's actually fine. How, how bad am I right now? Mildly dehydrated. Minus four int is actually just fine. It's not actually affecting me, though. That's bizarre. Oh, because I have Barryman Tats, that's why. I have Barryman Tats on. That's why. Alright, so let me just dump all that in there for now. Don't really want that. Or, this is not terrible, but I don't really want it right now. Same for those. Put it all in there for now. Okay. Can I make the, uh... Yes, color opener. We can make it. Cool. Done. Didn't ever use the protective pads either. It's only 10 DR, though. It's not a lot. It's not really that crazy. All right, so we can now get rid of our collar. Put our large backpack on and our bozo gas mask. Dump off that one. And uh, collar remover, right? Let's get that thing going. There it is. And, uh, yeah, good shape, guys. We got rid of our collar. Our head will no longer explode in, uh, like, ten hours or so. That's good. That's a good thing. I could make some caltrips. Um. They weigh a little bit, little bit less now, which is good, but they're still pretty heavy. And they use adhesive. I don't know why I'd want to ever do that. Alright, let me see what else I can do here as far as, like... Wait, this is not a weapons workbench. What am I, what am I thinking? All right, but there is a weapons workbench around here, though. But yeah, I didn't get my mod added that, uh... Didn't get my mod added that, uh, sorry, my, my alarm went off telling me that I should end the episode because I've been going for over half an hour. <laughs> my, I didn't get the mod fix that adds the, uh, combat helmet light, so I literally can't see a goddamn thing. I almost couldn't see my own power armor, like, five feet away from me. Okay, this is a little bit better. I think I think the uh, the bug I was having might be fixed now. All right, so I'm gonna go into be a DTFL as well because it's like right there, and we've got a pretty good submachine gun we can use. That large backpack's a real nice find, guys. It's really really good. It does weigh. Well, I'm gonna keep it on me so I can like haul stuff around inside when I'm in there. I'll keep the. Uh, the food and stuff on me in case I need it, and the, the drinks in case I need them. Got to dump most of this in here. I'll come back and get it later. But while I'm looting stuff in there, I'm gonna leave it in here for now. So yeah, we got a we got good carry weight. Um, we got a good weapon. I should get my puncturing sledgehammer as well. Come on, puncturing sledgehammer. Okay, so we got that. Right across the street is BADTFL. Thank goodness I know this area like the back of my hand, or else I'd never be able to find anything. But, um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head inside of here, and we'll actually be able to see things, and hopefully we'll be able to kind of clear this area out. Um, I'm gonna save again real quick. And we're going to be going through here and clearing it out. But that is going to be next episode, guys. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.